Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a video on why small cages are so bad and demonstrate how what you need to put in your hamster's cage and show you why these cages are so bad for your hamster. Now I'm not going to be adding bedding because I got a new package and I don't want to open it just yet until I actually start cleaning right the cage. So I'm just going to be showing you what you need to put in there. So the first thing you're going to need is a wheel that mine attaches to the wire. So uh, I'll just attach that later. So the next thing you're going to need is a hut. Now I know the wheel goes right there, so we're gonna have to put it over on the side. I know the hut is purple, so sorry about that. I don't think you can see it very well. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is food. So put that right there. So the next thing of course is a water bottle, but mine it attaches to the lid. So again, I'm just gonna put that on later. The next thing you're going to need is toys. Your hamster needs mini toys. Uh, uh, I don't think this cage has room for this. I'm just gonna put it like right there, which isn't very safe. So I'll just put a few Dixie cups. It doesn't even have room for that. Like, uh, then your hamster needs some chews. I'm gonna put some pretzels, not pretzels, uh, puzzle pieces. Put one over there. Just add some more toys. Just don't know where the wheel is. Safe. Okay. So I'm going to go and start building my cage. So I'm not going to put the lid on just because then you can't see it very well. So just so you know, this is where the water bottle would have been. And as you can see, here I'll put it to the camera. And as you can see, it takes up a lot of space. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off. So there, now you can see it a little bit better. So as you can see, this is a really small cage. Remember to only use um, cages like this when you are traveling. But I mean, you may even want a bigger cage while you're traveling. I do not know how to put this in. Just hold on a second. All right, so I got the wheel on, and as you can see, this is such a small space. This is definitely not suitable for a hamster. And just to prove to you that this is not a safe spot or a healthy spot even to put your hamster, I am going to put Rhino in here for you and just show you how unsafe this is, but I'm going to put the lid on. So, this cage I use for traveling, it opens on the top, but this is just so crowded. Like, I'm going to take out some things so Rhino actually has space to move around. Sorry if I really, if my voice sounds weird. Um, my allergies have been so bad lately, so I'm really sorry if this is really obnoxious or something. So I have Rhino here with me. Let me try and get her out. She likes to stay in her little toilet roll. So, okay. So here she is. I'm gonna put her in there. Oh, no, no, no. So she doesn't even want to go in. Like, you see, it's so cramped. As you can see, Rhino is back in her home. 
Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really liked it when other YouTubers did it. I was like, oh, it's kind of cool, so I might as well do it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, as you can see, small cages are really bad, so please get a bigger cage for your hamster to where all your things will fit and it's not super crowded. Alright, I know we can reach 10 subscribers. Let's get to 10 subscribers and 3 likes. I feel like that would be amazing. And I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye!